What's up guys, welcome back to IT Security Labs. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to take your PFSense snort logs or any other logs, really, from any IDS IPS system and bring them back to gray log. Then we can actually classify those logs and create this dashboard that you're looking at here in Grafana. In this part, which is, um, the third video in this series, I'm going to show you step by step how to get these logs out of PFSense, save them in our syslog, send them to Grafana and get the graphs that you need and may actually be able to make sense of these logs. So like I say in my previous videos, this is my PFSense and I'm running Snort, Squid and in this series I'm focusing more on firewall logs, Snort logs and Squid. And I want to visualize all those logs and create dashboards and actually quickly make sense of it. There are three components that make this setup. I have my PFSense, I have a uh, gray log, and I have Grafana. And you can use RSYS log, which is optional, but you can use it if you want. But uh, in PFSense, I already installed my Snort, but uh, there's a few settings that you need. So let's start with PFSense settings. If you go to services, snort, make sure that you enable Barnyard 2. There's a lot of uh, documentation on how to enable Barnyard 2 and it's running and you have all these checkboxes. So that's the first thing is make sure that Barnyard 2 is up and running. Then after that, verify that you are getting alerts. As you can see, I'm getting a lot of alerts. I enabled my WAN interface for this demonstration. So I can actually show you real logs, but um, you only probably want to enable it on your LAN or on your uh, other networks if you have multiple. So as you can see, this is uh, just logs that are getting generated. You want to ship these logs all the way to gray log and actually end up with graphs like this. So what you're looking at is uh, see the classification value which classifies the traffic. I'm picking it from here where it says class. Source IP, source port, all these fields, I'm actually getting them here in gray log. And this dashboard, I borrowed it from the Grafana website and I really want to create this dashboard. This is the same uh, information that I was seeing over there, but I can actually bring it to Grafana, for example, top destination IP or, or alert types or it is the top destination port, so I can create these graphs very soon. So how do we do this? In PFSense, to be able to send your logs to the local system, which will ship them out with the, all the other logs, you want to go to services, pick up your snort, then choose the interfaces. As you can see, I have Barnyard 2, which is running. This is actually what we're using to ship these logs to our local system. So I'll just go ahead and click on the interface and then click on one binary two then you want to scroll all the way down here enable syslog and local only because what we want is we want to bundle snort, snort alerts with all our system alerts and then ship them out at once so choose the local level here and log priority do this for every interface that you have your snort running then after that we want to go to status system logs as you can see there my snort logs are actually coming here that's way that's how you know that actually your banner 2 is logging locally these are all alerts from snort then if we go to settings enable remote logging right here then remote log servers, you can specify here. In my case, I'm sending all my logs to RSYS log, which is my central log server. I like to have a central server dedicated to just logging. Then I use my gray log for indexing and creating graphs. And also, I also use Grafana in addition to that. In your case though, if you don't want to deal with RSYS log, you can go ahead and put your gray log right here the IP address for Greylog. I'm using port 5142. 
um, for TCP, then uh, port 514 for UDP. I'm sending both using uh, UDP and TCP. Uh, you can decide one or the other. It doesn't really matter. <coughs> but that's, this is what I'm using to send these logs. Then in my case, I'm sending everything. You can choose just to want file, file events and you can uh, leave the rest, but I'm sending everything. And all these logs are going straight to my RCS log server, which I showed you how to set up. So if you go to your RCS log server and you go to this location, var log remote logs, just remove the space. If you do an LS, you'll see that I have um, this file here. So in our last setup for RCS log, we, I showed you how to set up a wildcard where any machine that sends logs to uh, RCS log, it will create a folder for it, either using a host name or the IP address. In this case, 192.168.5.1 is my PFSense and I have a folder for it. So if I change to, to that folder and do an LS, you, you can see that I'm getting all the logs from PFSense. So for example, let's look at a DHCP client dot, dot log. Actually, let's just go ahead and look at our barnyard2.log by using tail and autocomplete. And as you can see, those are my snort IDS logs coming into my RCS log server. So this, these logs are in here and they're coming in. So th that's a good part. Then once you have your logs in here, you can decide what to do with them. You can just keep them in here or in my case, I'm just forwarding them to gray log. And like I said, you can go straight from PFSense to gray log and bypass this if you want your logs in real time and not waste a lot of time moving them around. So in order for us to send from RCS log all the way to gray log, so our logs can look like, um, let me show you here like this first thing that we need to do is set up our rcs log server to point all the logs straight to gray log we need to create a configuration file and that will reside in the etsy rcs log.d so let's change our directory to that So in here, this is where you can create all your um, configuration files on where to ship your logs from RCS log. And in this case, we're shipping our logs all the way to gray log. And I already have a configuration file, but to create it, uh, say for example, this squid file, I just did a v, vim etsy rcs log 60 squid.conf. That's what I did for that one. Then of course, uh, I also have a 70. Dot, I mean, such uh, as snort.conf. That's what you do. So let me show you what my uh, squid.conf looks like. If I try to view this one, the squid.conf file, this is what it looks like. And you can, we can break this down for you or otherwise um, just copy and paste this. And to be honest, I don't fully understand how it all works. I know that this is what I was supposed to do, but uh, the two parameters that we needed to change was uh, this IP address and this location here, squid.log. Then uh, in addition to that, I'm grabbing everything. So right here, I put a wildcard and I'm shipping them to gray log, which is this one, 192.168.5.60. Those are the parameters that I changed. And of course, this name right here. So if you're doing this, just copy and paste this one and you will have your logs pointing to your gray log. And in addition to that, uh, let me show you what my snort.conf looks like. It's almost identical. And in my snort.conf, as you can see, 
I'm calling them snort under, uh, alerts and I'm picking up Barnyard 2.log and from via log remote logs and I'm picking local all logs and I'm sending them to the same location on port 5140. So this is how to send logs from gray log from RCS log to gray log. And once you have this configuration and you save it, what you want to do is run this command. I showed you this in the RCS log uh, video, but I'll, I'm also showing you again RCS log negative 1D, uh, negative N1. And this will just verify that it's working. If it's not, you get a, a, some errors here. Then uh, system control restart RCS log. Let's uh, do that. And RCS log is already trying to send those logs to gray log. Now we go to our final part where this is what the logs will look like in gray log once they start coming in and you'll be able to see them. I've already um, classified my logs using um, pipelines. I'll be showing you in the next video how to do that. But in order for your logs to come in here, what you want to do is you want to go to system inputs then uh then from inputs since mine are coming from our syslog select um syslog udp or tcp depending on which one then launch a new input then from here as you can see this is the, the only node that i have you can name it pf sense underscore logs and then um Bind address, I'm just listening on all ports. Port 5140, in my case, I'm, I'm not changing the buffer. Number of workers, I'm just putting one. Just go, then just go ahead and hit save. Once you save, you see something like this. If you set up your PFSense or RCS log correctly, you should start seeing that you have numbers changing here and the logs will start flowing. It's that simple so once the logs start flowing you can go to your inputs again and show received logs once you come here your logs will just look like uh, this this is just raw logs they're not parsed or anything like that so you are now ready to start grabbing these logs um, parsing them classifying them using um, regex you're now ready to create your pipelines classify these logs and manipulate them however you want or you can just use this to search for any log really that um if i wanted to find logs that contain the word classification i can just do that and i just searched for those logs and all these logs that you see here have that word if you want to find out another host you can do the same so this is just like any other log management systems. Once you have your logs in here, you're ready to classify them. And then after you classify your logs, you can even go ahead and create dashboards like what I have here. These are my snort alerts that I showed you how to ship. I'm grabbing the classification, the top protocol in my snort alerts. This is useful because I want to see the difference between TCP and UDP. If UDP is a lot, like in this case, I have 20%. I need to find out what's going on in there. And in this case, I think I know what, what, what exactly is going on in my lab. Then the top targets, these IP addresses that are being targeted, you can see here. And we are going to take it further in this series where we end up with this security center where I can classify my events based on severity, high, medium, low. And we can also create these graphs that look even better in Grafana. So subscribe. I'll be posting these videos very often. And in today's video, I just showed you that. So make sure to subscribe, hit the like and the bell icon to be reminded when I'm when I upload the next video. I plan to be done with this series within the next few days. So make sure to subscribe and come back to this channel for more. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.